Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over CCleaner for Mac. Now, CCleaner has been one of my favorite programs on Windows for quite a while, and it has just come out of beta on OS X. Uh, so to download it, of course, I'll have a link in the description of this video. You just download it at puriform.com, or I believe that's how you say it anyway. But let me just give you guys a little example of what CCleaner is all about. So, as you may have guessed from the name, CCleaner is all about clearing up the junk on your computer. Uh, now, of course, there's a lot of stuff on Windows and people, you know, give Windows a bad rap for that. However, you can definitely get some junk on your, uh, you know, your Mac, which can definitely slow it down. And, of course, just eat up disk space and all kinds of stuff. So, this is a great way to keep it nice and clean. So, it's split up into a couple of categories. And I'll try to go through them as briefly as I can. Uh, so over here, you can go ahead and clear out web browsers. So just as far as like things that come automatically installed in OS X. Uh, so let's say, for example, we want to have Safari totally clean, just like a brand new install. So we can delete cookies, history, cache, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I don't actually think I'm going to do that. But if you wanted to, uh, you know, always it is kind of nice to have something that's, you know, kind of like a brand new, fresh browser. Uh, over here, you can take care of system things. So for example, it can automatically delete our trash, recent documents, application servers. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the servers. Um, and leave probably everything else alone. Uh, there's also system applications, so we can clean up the junk. Now, do keep in mind, it's not like wiping everything. So what it's doing is it's wiping out like system files, I mean not system files, <laughs> temporary files. Uh, generally, it's not going to maybe uh, affect anything major. Of course, if you, you know, delete cookies and all that kind of stuff, it can do it. Uh, but in general, it's just going to do kind of behind the scenes stuff, just kind of speed everything up. Uh, on, on top of that, you also do have access for third party applications. So for Chrome, I'm not going to delete anything. Kind of like to have all my uh, my things still saved, uh, but as far as applications go, we can go ahead and just let it clean up all this stuff. There's probably not going to be that much, but we can take a look. Uh, so once you go through everything, what you can do is you can go ahead and just clean, or we can analyze. So what I'm going to do is analyze, and here we go. So this is the analysis. Uh, we're going to go ahead and remove about 7.5 gigs or so worth of stuff. Pretty much all that's in my trash, but we can see here that there was some software update. There's like 15 megs there. Um, iTunes had some stuff. QuickTime had, for some reason, 98 megabytes. So there's all kinds of stuff. But all once we're f figured out, we go, okay, that we we don't want any of this stuff. Just hit clean, and whoosh, it'll be gone. And we've just saved 7.5 gigs on our hard drive, which is pretty cool, especially if you have a small SSD like I do. Uh, now there are also some other tools here. So for example, you can uninstall things very simply. Uh, so let's say I no longer wanted a VLC or whatever. I could just uninstall it straight from here. Nothing spectacular, but it is nice to have all this in one area. You can also repair permissions. So if there's something wrong, uh, you can easily just say, okay, I'm going to repair it or verify or whatever. And you can also erase free space on your drive, which I don't recommend if you have a uh, solid state drive, but if you want to go ahead and make sure that no one, like for example, if you're selling your Mac or whatever, this is a good way to go. And lastly, there's a kind of cool little feature that allows you to delete cookies individually. So let's say, of course, you know, cookies are the little bits of information that your web browser will download from pretty much any site. As you guys can see here, a lot of this stuff is not anything I want. I don't want 112.207.net like that. You know, a lot of this is from advertisers or whatnot. So you know what, if I want to delete all these, but still save a couple. So for example, you know, I want to stay signed into you know, YouTube and Google so I can go ahead and move a couple over here and I'm not going to go through all these on camera because that would probably take quite a while but you can go through and keep all the cookies that you want delete the rest and you're going to be good to go anyway guys that's going to be about it for my little video on CCleaner for Mac I highly recommend it it's a great program like I said I love it on Windows and now that it's over on OS 10 I'm definitely going to be using it quite a bit anyway guys if you enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more videos like this be sure to subscribe